Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss recent advancements in generative text to image models. These models can create high quality images based on user provided text descriptions. However, they sometimes struggle with accurately generating images when the text includes numbers or quantities, like seven pistachios. While previous research has focused on evaluating specific aspects of text to image models, such as alignment and compositionality, there has been a lack of comprehensive benchmarks for assessing numerical reasoning. To address this gap, we introduce GECKONUM, a detailed benchmark designed to evaluate different aspects of numerical reasoning in text to image models. We break down the evaluation into three tasks exact number generation, approximate number generation, and reasoning about partial quantities. We create various templates for each task to control different variables like sentence structure and context. By using GECKONUM, we assess seven models from three different families and gather human feedback to determine if the generated images align with the numerical prompts accurately. Our benchmark includes 1386 text prompts, 52,721 generated images, and a total of 479,570 human annotations. The results show that current text-to-image models excel at generating small exact quantities but struggle with more complex numerical reasoning tasks. GECKONUM proves to be a valuable tool for distinguishing between models, even those with high image quality. Furthermore, we demonstrate how Gekonum can drive advancements in automatic evaluation metrics and improve pre-trained vision language models in counting tasks. Our benchmark stands out for its comprehensive coverage of numerical reasoning dimensions, offering a more thorough evaluation compared to existing benchmarks. While other benchmarks exist for evaluating text-to-image models, they often lack a sufficient number of numerical prompts and may not adequately test models on numerical reasoning. GECKONUM fills this gap by providing a wide range of prompts that challenge models on different aspects of numerical reasoning, such as number ranges and linguistic approximations. In summary, our work goes beyond existing research by evaluating a diverse set of model families and considering various aspects of numerical reasoning. We emphasize the importance of comprehensive datasets for evaluating specific capabilities thoroughly. Section Summary. In this section, we introduce GECKONUM, a benchmark designed to evaluate numerical reasoning in text to image models. We address the lack of comprehensive benchmarks for assessing numerical reasoning by formalizing evaluation into tasks like exact and approximate number generation. Our results show that current text to image models excel at generating small exact quantities but struggle with more complex numerical reasoning tasks. Section. Tasks to examine numerical reasoning. In this section, we examine numerical reasoning tasks in our evaluation of text to image models. We have three numerical tasks and various text prompt types for each task, covering different difficulty levels. Our definition of numerical reasoning is inspired by numerical cognition literature and involves reasoning in abstract terms and manipulating these abstractions across different contexts. Firstly, we focus on the abstraction principle, which is the ability to understand the quantity of a set regardless of the object's identities. For instance, recognizing that 2 represents the same amount in 2 apples and 2 letters, even though they are different objects. We define tasks, describe the aspects of numerical reasoning they assess, and provide prompts designed to test these reasoning aspects. Task 1 evaluates a model's capability to accurately generate a specific number of objects. We vary the context in which numerical terms appear to test how well models grasp the abstraction principle. We explore different prompt structures, such as numeric simple, numeric sentence, two additive, three additive, attribute color, two additive color, and attribute spatial. Task 2 assesses models on their ability to depict entities with quantities expressed in approximate terms using words like many or a few. We also test how well models understand the concept of zero, which is a challenging milestone in number learning. 
Task 3 focuses on conceptual quantitative reasoning, which involves understanding objects and their parts. This task is more challenging and includes prompts related to fractions, proportions, and part-whole relationships. We aim to evaluate models on their comprehension of these complex concepts. Section Summary In this section, we examine numerical reasoning through three tasks and various text prompts of different difficulty levels. Our definition of numerical reasoning involves abstract reasoning and the manipulation of abstractions across contexts, focusing on the ability to reason in abstract terms and manipulate such abstractions. The tasks evaluate models on exact number generation, approximate number generation, and conceptual quantitative reasoning, each with specific prompt types designed to test different aspects of numerical reasoning. Section. Human Annotations of Images. In this section, we assess text-to-image models using annotations gathered from participants who completed three tasks related to numerical reasoning. We present participants with different tasks, each corresponding to a specific numerical reasoning task discussed earlier. For task 1, Participants count objects in a generated image by answering questions about the number of objects present. In task 2, participants choose the best description for an image from provided lines of text. Task 3 involves answering yes, no questions related to the content of the prompt used to generate the image. We recruited 25 participants who provided annotations for each image. The annotations showed high agreement among participants with at least 3 out of 5 annotators providing the same rating in over 96% of cases. We pre-process the annotations by standardizing formats and removing typos. The most frequent number for each image question pair is considered the model response for object counts in task 1. We evaluate 7 text-to-image models across 3 model families, DAL E3, Imagine-based models, and Muse. DAL E3 and Imagine models are pixel-based diffusion models, while Muse models use a different generative approach. Each model is tested on all tasks, and their performance is compared to baseline accuracy levels. DAL E3 performs best on tasks 1 and 2, while task 3 proves to be the most challenging for all models. Analyzing the results further, we observe that model performance varies across different prompt categories within each task. Some models excel in specific prompt types, indicating strengths in generating images aligned with certain prompts. We delve deeper into these findings in the subsequent sections to understand the impact of different variables on model performance. Section Summary In this section, we evaluate text-to-image models based on human annotations collected from participants who completed three tasks corresponding to different numerical reasoning tasks. For Task 1, Participants counted objects in generated images, for task 2, they selected the best description for an image, and for task 3, they answered yes, no questions related to the image content. We observed high inter-annotator agreement, with the majority of cases having at least 3 out of 5 annotators providing the same rating, and we processed human annotations to calculate model accuracy based on participant responses. Section. Task 1. Exact number generation. In this section, we examine task 1, which involves generating exact numbers. We found that the size of the numbers greatly impacts how well the models perform in number generation, aligning with previous research in multimodal and generative models. The accuracy of the strongest model, DAL E3, decreases significantly as the numbers increase sequentially. All models tend to overestimate numbers meaning they often show more entities than specified in the prompt. Additionally, most models also underestimate numbers, sometimes failing to generate the entity altogether as requested in the prompt. When it comes to representing numbers using digits versus words in the prompts, we discovered that models are more accurate when numbers are represented with words, especially for numbers 1 to 4. Prompt structures with multiple number-noun combinations like 2 additive and 3 additive, were generally more challenging compared to simpler numeric prompts. Models also struggled when numbers were presented alongside spatial relationships or color terms in the prompts. 
Moving on to task 2, which involves generating approximate numbers, we observed that prompts with fewer entities are easier for the models compared to prompts with two entities. Models had difficulty understanding linguistic quantifiers like no, especially when generating images with zero objects. Task 3, focusing on conceptual quantitative reasoning, proved to be the most challenging for the models, with many performing close to or below the baseline. Models struggled with prompts involving fractions and part-whole relationships. Evaluating models on task 3 prompts was particularly difficult due to the lack of clear ground truth in some cases. Section Summary In this section, we observe that number magnitude significantly impacts the performance of models in generating exact numbers, with a tendency to overestimate the quantities. Models generally perform better when numbers are represented in text prompts as words rather than digits. Additionally, the complexity of prompts, such as including spatial relationships or multiple number noun combinations, can greatly reduce the accuracy of models in generating images with the specified entities. Section Measuring what counts Challenges in evaluation of numerical reasoning. In this section, we explore the usefulness of GECKONUM in two main areas of research developing automatic evaluation metrics and assessing vision language models, VLMs, concerning numerical reasoning. When it comes to evaluating automatic evaluation metrics, our focus is on creating metrics that can effectively replace human evaluation. We assess various auto-eval metrics to see how well they can identify accurate number generation. These metrics include CLIP score, TIFA, GECKO, DSG, and VNLI. By testing these metrics on correctly and incorrectly generated images, we found that only VNLI could consistently distinguish between the two, while QA-based methods like Gecko and TIFA could do so for some models. Additionally, we checked if these auto metrics could rank models based on accuracy, and only Gecko, TIFA, and VNLI could reliably do so. Moving on to evaluating counting in VLMs, we know that counting poses a challenge for these models, and there are limited datasets available for training and evaluation. We investigated whether GECKONUM could serve as an evaluation task by creating a VQA benchmark. By comparing the performance of the base PALI GEMMA model with a fine tuned version on counting using Tally QA, we observed that the fine-tuned model performed better on GECKONUM. Fine-tuning on another counting dataset like Tally QA improved accuracy on higher counts, which was also reflected in the GECKONUM results. Furthermore, we explored using GECKONUM as synthetic training data by incorporating imagined data into the training process. This approach did not significantly impact performance on Tally QA but notably enhanced performance on Muse B images. These initial findings emphasize the potential of training VLMs with synthetic data to boost performance on various benchmarks and underscore the need for more high-quality datasets and benchmarks focusing on counting and numerical reasoning.